Andre, take your hat off for dinner. I'm trying to understand you. What are you trying to understand? Josh is cruising the mall tomorrow with his homeboy, Alex. You have won, Louis Van. My name. The structure, the beat, it can walk on its own. I've recited these lines so many times, I've become my parents' perfect drone. I can feel the crosshair of their sniper's eye, the scrutinizing stare. They don't understand the language flow, how I preach a different tempo. They believe it all has to be wrong. They're so scared of the change that has been here for so long. The new culture is born. It's invaded the system. It may be too hard for the old and worn, but I know the youth will listen. Oh. I will be the light in their eyes. Not just the bling or the shine of my ring they believe I possess, but because of my surreptitious depths, they're too ignorant to consume. Wrapped up in the belief that I'm just another gangster buffoon. My play tries to convey that not all rappers are violent, not all rappers are stupid. They have their own words and the way they express themselves should be cherished, not segregated because they're different. Be careful, Alice. Someone might have seen us. I'm tired of sneaking around like this. So what if an apple and an orange are in love? The, the, the whole store cares, especially your parents. Now, I mean, you're a part of the Macintosh family and no one disobeys what they say. I'm trying to understand you. What are you trying to understand? Um, February 2009, a helpless old lady. Why'd you kill her? Did you know that old lady? She wasn't that helpless. You didn't answer the question. Uh, for some re weird reason in my life, I've just known a lot of people who are a little unbalanced. <laughs> oh, look at this poor pelican. He got covered in some kind of sticky, brownish, blackish, icky stuff. Oh, you're covered in it too. Lord, calm down. I'm fine. It's just a thin layer, and I think Michelle's pretty tough. I just saw a school of tuna dropping like rocks because of some mysterious force in the water. Tara, isn't the mysterious force you're talking about this? Is this poison all over the ocean? I decided, well, why are these people just caring about the companies and their money when all these lies are going down. So I decided to write this play about the BP oil spill. What, so just because everyone has a Facebook, I have to have one too? You know what this is kind of like? It's like Nazi Germany. <gasps> well, it is. You have to have one or you're an inferior to everyone else. No, oh, come on, Katie. You know you want one. You know I don't. Facebook is the stupidest thing ever. I mean, since when did friend become a verb? I just got the idea because I, because I'm a Facebook addict. And, <laughs> and um, I just wanted to write something that I knew that a lot of people could connect with because this is just such a big part of our society. And I, and it's just about, and I just wanted to make it about like real kids and about like what their lives are like based around this one thing. What do you think we should do? I don't know. I just found it on the water. Opposed to lying on a napkin. Our fish wasn't suicidal, if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> Once fish feel there's no purpose in life, that's when we need a new god in office. Haven't you ever heard never to mix church and state? You should mix two friends and a fish. You end up with a sitcom. This <laughs> is a journey of two young friends and their fish. I just thought that if you can take such such a little thing, such as a fish dying, and turn it into this big dramatic scene that um, it would be kind of funny and attractive to the audience and stuff. I think my favorite part about seeing it is actually seeing what I wrote down actually being on stage kind of like live. You know, like when I'm thinking it in my imagination, you know, when I'm actually picturing it in my head when I was writing it, you can only picture so much. But it's kind of like, She's it's living now, you know? You. So no! it adds kind of more depth to it. I found that the actors could just portray so much more than I could put on the paper. So I just think that theater is a good way to send a message.